Hey guys, uh, it's like 12.30 on Wednesday, I think it's about the 13th of December, something like that. Went hunting this morning, we have not seen hardly any ducks in our area this year. Uh, there is some geese starting to move through now, but our water that we hunt doesn't seem to have any geese working it. So anyway, a uh, buddy that I farm for, Doug, he's got a pond. And they haven't been using it, but they were using a neighbor's across the road. So he went over and talked to a neighbor, got permission for us to go over there this morning. So we went over there and set up, had a good hunt, had a real good hunt. Shot a limit, a uh, four man limit. So got them cleaned, and we just now are headed home. Got my sick gear on. I can't have nice things. I have a buddy, he's been gone for about a little over a year, I guess, and we hunted a lot, a lot together over the years, good guy, he was a year younger than I am, and he passed away of cancer about, like I said, a little over a year ago, so last year was a little rough, first year without him, didn't, didn't hunt too much without him, he was always there. So anyway, uh, when he passed away, he always made jokes in the blind that I was a little bigger than he was. I don't think he was bigger. I think he said fatter. And so he bought his sick gear, a size bigger than he needed, so that when he was gone, uh, he would, I would have something to wear. So anyway, after about close to a year of him being gone, his wife was ready to give his stuff up and a uh, sent it my direction so I have some really nice sick gear thanks to Aaron and he was just a, he was a giver he loved to, to give to people very very giving so anyway that's uh, that's where I got my sick gear he gave me a substantial amount of it and uh, I always hung the crap on him and told him it wasn't worth what he paid for it but it's pretty good I do have to admit it holds up pretty well. Stops the wind and he gave me the whole layering system. So anyway, I, every time I put it on, I have to think about him. I think about him anyway, but you know, it's a little extra when I when I put his stuff on. All right, guys, I'll put a little video on of the hunt. I didn't don't don't video much when we're actually hunting. I did video a couple small bunches of ducks coming in after we were already limited and uh, then we shot a few geese but like I said didn't put that on there either not really a outdoors photographer I like to go and hunt and not worry about the camera uh, oh there's a trailer on there that I built out of a Polaris Ranger um, five six seven years ago five years ago maybe and I just had an old Polaris that I would bought for some pieces and I cut it off the front of it off and built a trailer left the seat built a rack on the top built a bunch of uh, hooks and things for our decoys and aaron was the only one when i started the project out of our bunch that thought it was a good idea he said yeah yeah you're onto something you'll make it work so i built it and we have used it and used it and used it and uh it's works it worked out really well the other guys that didn't think it would work, they, they use it now. They think it's all right. So anyway, uh, I'll probably let you go, and then I may share this. I questioned it. Shared Cody's deer and lost a bunch of subscribers. <laughs> Not that I really care, but it was kind of funny. Uh, that's the only reason I can uh, figure that I lost subscribers. All right, guys. Later. Got some stuff we didn't use. We'll always bring more than we need. I'll show you this trailer when the when the sun comes up, probably after we pick up. But I think we're gonna give her a go.
I kill him. Headed back up to the house. This is a farm I farmed here across the road. This neighbor let us hunt this morning. We're full of stuff. We got our full body decoys and our evergreens. Full back. Ducks hanging off the side. I've got some deals I made back there that racks they swing out for panels or decoys or whatever. Generally we have riders in here. Miles threw some shells in here. Shotguns down there. This is our get up. We've got a rack on the top. Hooks everywhere for decoys. Big straps for bigger decoys. These fold in and out. Got a couple birds before. That one's full. This one's full. There's three geese in the back. I gotta get to work. <laughs>